Hello, my name is Kai and I am a recreation therapist on the intensive rehabilitation unit. Today I will be uh, doing the uh, stroke education session specific to community resources. So let's talk about the role of the stroke community navigator. Uh, the community navigator coordinates uh, various services such as physical care, activities of daily living, therapy, housing, driving, vision and hearing, funding and equipment. Uh, the stroke navigator is also a liaison with healthcare and service providers. Uh, individual and family support is also offered through the stroke community navigator, either in person, by phone or video conference. Uh, the stroke community navigator also offers education on stroke topics. So let's talk about uh, changes after having a stroke. So common changes after a stroke uh, include muscle weakness or paralysis, balance issues, uh, vision issues such as blind spots or visual neglect, spatial abilities, uh, speech or swallowing difficulties, memory issues, uh, judgment, fatigue, behavior and emotions. Uh, building a plan. So uh, ha after having a stroke, uh, it is important to look at what 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 life is going to look like and how you are going to require and want to deal with uh, the changes. So uh, questions that should be asked, am I able to go back home? Will there be any barriers to getting back home and how do I solve those barriers? Uh, what do I what do I know I will need help with when I get home? For example, services in the community, uh, help through uh, home care, uh, assistance, uh, physiotherapy, uh, community resources such as exercise programs in the community, that sort of thing. So what will I need when I get home? Um, what will help me get better and reduce my chances of another stroke? So. Um, Better, uh, better diet, a diet pertaining to uh, reducing the chances of uh, having a stroke, quitting smoking, uh, medications that are recommended to help reduce uh, the instances of having another stroke, and those sort of things. Uh, making a visual roadmap of what's in the community. Also on the topic of the visual roadmap, if you uh, are on the rehabilitation unit, in one of the hallways, you'll see that there is a visual roadmap of different uh, community um, services and uh, how you would go through that process. So if you're if you're around that area, feel free to take a look and there are also pamphlets there. Referral agencies. So through a stroke uh, navigator, uh, they can help you get connected with various agencies in the community that would benefit you going home, staying home and being safe. So home and community care, uh, the Northeastern Lynn uh, is, is one avenue uh, that we can, that the stroke navigator can help set you up with and coordinate through. Uh, VON Day Centre, there is ICANN, uh, March of Dimes Canada, Canadian Institute for the Blind, Red Cross Transportation Program and Handy Transit. So talking about them in more detail, home and community care through the Northeast Lynn provides attending care services, therapeutic services and or nursing. Uh, this happens at home and there's a various amount of hours that they, they assess and you are allotted depending on your uh, level of independence or what certain what you'll require throughout the day and the week. Help to apply um, will Stroke Navigator will also help to apply to long term care and some community programs. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, actually the community, the community home and community care will help to apply to long term care and some community programs. Rather, they assess and determine eligi eligibility and a number that you can call for that is 1-800-461-2919. Uh, the ICANN, Independence Training Centre and Network. So this, this uh, I, Independence Training Centre and Network is located in the Sudbury area off of Lawrence Street. Uh, it's actually 765 Brennan Road. Um, and this building and uh, 
the employment there provides outreach independence training, uh, also supportive housing. Um, there's the outreach program, which provides assistance with personal care and activities of daily living. And the outreach program is provided in in your in your residence. Um, if you have any questions about this, you can contact Robin O'Hara, the stroke community community navigator specific to the Sudbury area at 705-673-0655 extension 223 or her email, which is R-O-H-A-R-A at ICAN-CRD.com. ICAN Post-Transitional Care Program is another program ICAN Stroke Community Navigator can connect you to. Um, this program looks at occupational and physical therapy, activities of daily living training, aqua fitness, uh, which is done at the Gatchel Pool close to the uh, to the ICANN Center, individual and caregiver education and support. Um, currently, this is being done via Zoom, um, but uh, clients and family members can connect and there is uh, um, education and support that is that is offered through sessions that way at this time. Horticulture therapy, which is gardening. A uh, healthy cooking group. Uh, this helps you practice your cooking and uh, increase your independence with cooking in a safe manner. Uh, community resource information. So what what is offered in the community um, can, will, will be investigated and, and what, what can be found will be given to you. Uh, cognitive remediation and life skills training. Uh, the reintegration unit, the IRU, is also located uh, at the ICANN uh, Center on Brennan Street. Um, this is uh, in attendant care. Uh, this offers this unit offers attendant care, access to 24 hour pager, no cost. And ICANN offers up to 42 days, uh, a 42 day stay in a four bedroom unit. Um, with this unit, your own bedroom, uh, you're given your own bedroom with hospital bed and a TV, and there are also two bathrooms in this unit. So this, our IU, uh, the benefits to this are, it's a smoother transition home. So let's say you're getting renovations done or you're, you just need a little bit more time to get stronger or um, complete the process of getting home safely. Uh, this unit uh, can offer a smoother transition home. Living with a uh, living with stroke program. Uh, this program uh, provides a knowledge base for stroke survivors and caregivers to understand stroke. Um, it allows survivors and their caregivers to communicate with others who are in a similar situation and it helps foster a comfortable environment where this learning can take place. Uh, it's also held at ICANN uh, at, on Brennan Road. The VON Day Centre is um, located in the south end of Sudbury. Uh, in, a, in addition to the Adult Day Centre, which runs Monday through Friday, uh, they also offer active living wellness program and a respite pro program, which is one weekend a month where a, where a client can stay overnight um, at the VON Day Center. And the VON Day Center specifically is a program that um, there is a cost. It's a, I believe it's about $15 a day and uh, food is offered. Um, I believe it is lunch and a snack and it runs from the morning uh, till early, early evening. Um, and it is a place where there's staff that do different uh, leisure activities uh, in a safe environment. They do exercise programs and your, your loved one is in a, in a safe area that um, where there's uh, physical assistance offered by staff members there. Um, it's also a good place to go where you can get cognitive stimulation and exercise and physical stimulation and exercise. And the VON Day Center is located on uh, 2140 Regent Street, uh, Suite 16 uh, in Sudbury. And the number there is 705-671-1575. Uh, there is also March of Dimes Canada. Um, this this agency uh, pertains to acquired brain injury services. 
Uh, they have support groups, assistive devices offered through this agency, attendant services, uh, des uh, design designability, home and vehicle modifications can be uh, found through this agency, uh, Northern Medical Clinics and Stroke Recovery Canada. Uh, this is located on 96 Larch Street, Suite 400. And you, uh, the number there is 6713188, or uh, if it's longer distance, 188-260-5269. Uh, March of Dimes Canada Employment Services is another agency in the community. Um, <coughs> they will assist you in employment planning, going back to work or looking for new employment. And they also uh, assist with job skills, uh, job skill assistance. And they are on 10 Elm Street in Sudbury, Suite 303, 705-674-3377. Uh, uh, there is also so the CNIB, Canadian National Institute for the Blind. Uh, this agency is uh, vision support services. Uh, they have a library uh, with, uh, with, with books, audio books and large print books and that sort of thing um, that you can uh, have lent to you. Uh, there's consumer products and assistive technologies through this agency and they have accessibility expertise. And they are at 303 York Street in Sudbury, and their number is 705-675-2468. Uh, Red Cross Transportation Program. Uh, this is something to help you get around uh, to doing your groceries, medical appointments, that sort of thing. Uh, the Red Cross Transportation Program program provides dependable low cost door to door transportation within the city of Greater Sudbury for seniors aged 60 years and up. They operate Monday to Friday, uh, 830 to 430. Uh, sample cost is $15 uh, from your location uh, from Sudbury back to your your residence. Um, and they have the we have the address 1460 Fairburn Street and the number is 6740737. So that's a transportation service. Uh, there is also hand, uh, Handy Transit, Gova Plus, um, and they provide transportations for persons who have physical disabilities and are unable to use the regular transit system. So they have a lift in the back, the door opens from the back of the bus and a lift comes down and they bring you into the bus that way. It's more accessible and it is door to door. It runs 365 days a year between 7 a.m. and midnight. Um, here's an example of the price co cost for Handy Transit. Um, if you have any other questions, you can contact them at 705-670-2300. Uh, more information, um, you can check out their website. So there's Heart and Stroke, www.heartandstroke.ca. Um, there is Sudbury and District Health Unit, uh, Canadian Cancer Society uh, to help with quitting smoking, and Diabetes Education Centre. Sudbury Outpatient Center uh, for um, healthy diet and that sort of thing, or diabetes management. Uh, so where to look? Where else can you look? Where can I find out what is available in my community? So if you're looking for other things that may not have been mentioned, and we'll mention a few here too, um, you can you can find it at uh, www.stroke.northeast. The uh, the healthline.ca um, and there's newspapers uh, uh, where you can find information, leisure guide, internet websites, um, there's channel 10 in Sudbury on cable TV and the telephone book. Uh, also you can check out uh, www.city.greatersudbury.ontario.ca uh, for, for resources in Sudbury. Uh, there's ICANN, www.icann-cerd.com. You can check out mysudbury.ca. There's also foundlocally.com slash Sudbury. Um, there is also Northern Lights Festival Boreal for, um, for events in the, in the community. So www.nlfbsudbury.com. Uh, 
and there's uh, Wendy's Way Folk Art Painting. So this is another uh, leisure based activity that you can look into for just kind of keeping active. Uh, www.wendysway.ca uh, Websites, uh, there's 92rocks.com for different right, local communities and events. ScienceNorth.ca uh, VirtualSudbury.com uh, there's Sudbury YMCA, uh, there's the Sudbury Star, there's SudburyTourism.ca, SudburyWolves.com. Um, additional um, groups in the community that could promote being active and healthy. There's senior clubs in uh, the area of Sudbury, so there's Capriol Seniors Club 240. Uh, there's uh, uh, C R C A R P St. Andrew's Place, so they have different groups there. Um, things may be different at the moment, but um, that's another avenue that you can look at. Uh, there's the Centre de Santé, um, and there's various so uh, various locations in the Sudbury area. They have different um, exercise groups and uh, leisure groups, card groups, that sort of thing. Uh, there's the Club Age d'Or de la Vallée. Um, and they have similar uh, leisure programs. There's Club Jouy du Viver. Uh, they have different programs there. And then Onaping Falls um, also has uh, some leisure activities and uh, uh, community center there too. <coughs> Additional clubs, Club Amical du Nouveau Sudbury. Uh, there's Club 50, Rayside Balfour. There's Coniston Seniors, Nichols Center Seniors, Parkside Center, and 111 seniors. There's Panage Road Seniors, Skeed Seniors, Ukrainian Senior Citizen Club, Walden Senior Citizen and Pensioners, Naughton Seniors and Pensioners, Sudbury South Seniors and Pensioners, West End Seniors. Um, if you have any questions or comments uh, due, due to the events, um, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to um, to talk to your nurse and um, they can get in contact with the stroke navigator or um, or or another therapist on the unit and we can uh, delegate questions to the right people. Um, if there's any of that contact information also that you want, um, uh, the unit can set you up and, and, and give you that that information. So uh, references for this session, Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario, Canada, Tips and Tools for Everyday Living for Stroke Caregivers Living with Stroke, uh, Community Pamphlets and Sources, uh, Stroke Engine uh, website, www.strokeengine.ca. And that is the completion of this session. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, talk to your nurse and they will, um, they will contact uh, who, who needs to be contacted. Thank you and have a great day.